good example here just how important it is to be so locked in mentally to every aspect of the game uh watch how here i mean there's like a eight second differential between the shot clock and game clock so the wolves have plenty of time but watch what happens when they force denver into a end of shot clock turnover anthony edwards gets the ball okay so right now there's just over six seven seconds left in the game but right here when edwards got the ball the shot clock goes off let's see if i can let you hear it my fault but let's try that again with sound So when he heard that, look how Anthony Edwards jumped to shoot it. He thought that that was the game clock. He lifts up to shoot this, thinking that he's going to have to shoot a half-court heave. Right here. You don't jump like that to make a pass in transition. So by the time he recovers, now they got a three-on-two and phenomenal block by Barden. And Edwards, I think, was still a little dazed because he was just out of it a little bit at the end. I think the adrenaline maybe a little too much for him but man i mean you look at like where they are when they get this ball right here they got a clear two on one he keeps his dribble here pushes all the way down that's going to be a layup he picks up his dribble and lifts up literally to shoot this ball with six seconds left good for him at least he realizes at the very last second that oh i still got six seconds so he throws a pass poor pass to russell which really blows the whole thing up and again ends with them losing at the buzzer but Man, again, just another example of how mental the game is and how important it is to be no time and score. Seven seconds left when he got the ball, almost shot a half-court heave. Wolves get stopped at the buzzer. Great Denver defense.